Hi and welcome back to Once Upon a Tiny Farm. My name's Drew. In today's video, I just wanted to make a quick video with some thoughts, um, talking about an epic fail that I've had this year with my Dollar Tree stackable planters that I was hoping to grow a lot of strawberries in. And I'm gonna tell you a few of the reasons why I think I failed at growing lots of strawberries in these stackable towers, so stick around. So as you can see, I've got lots of strawberry greens in here, but what you don't see is lots of strawberries. Now the ones that I have gotten have been small. Now that could also be due to the variety of strawberry that I'm growing, which uh, isn't coming um, to my head right now, but I'll put it up on the screen when I remember when I'm editing this. But um, yeah, the big issue that I had with my Dollar Tree planters here is that they dry out way too easy and a lot of people have said that in the comments about these that also have these that they just dry out way too much and you could see some of my strawberry transplants just didn't even survive because as you know we haven't gotten much rain recently and um, from what I understand strawberries need lots of water so even though I was watering this in the morning the afternoon and in the evening really watering it good this dried out way too fast so that was even with me adding a lot of peat moss on top to try to hold uh, moisture um, it just wasn't enough for the strawberries really need a lot of water and I just wasn't able to provide that so that's one thing that I think I'm gonna have to make some changes on um, for next year another mistake I think I made with this stackable planter as you could see I have many tiers stacked here, and I showed you in a video that a lot of you have watched, and I really appreciate. Um, oh, get this weed out of here. Don't want that. Um, I stacked this 12 high, and I thought that bigger would be better, taller would be better. But after um, I've been caring for my neighbor's uh, plants, they've been away, and they also have these stackable planters from Dollar Tree. But what they did was they only stacked them three or four high. And after watering their plants, I've realized there's a lot of benefits to just doing them in three or four high. And the biggest one is that it's easier to water each level because there's only a few to, to reach. And sometimes it's hard to reach some of the bottom ones. Um, also, when they're only three or four high, it's very easy to rotate um, which um, side is facing the sun and with mine I it's so heavy it, I can't I can't rotate this it's just stuck the way it is so some of these in the back are just not getting as much sun as the ones in the front um, so things would grow a lot more evenly and I'd have more flexibility in how I grow the strawberries or whatever I grow in these towers if I only went three or four high. So next year, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Maybe put them on a pallet and put them three or four high and just have to rotate them throughout the day so they all get an even amount of sun. They all get an even amount of water, which is key for strawberries. And I failed my strawberries and I feel really, really bad about it because my kids really love the strawberries. And I was hoping to bring a lot of strawberries to the farmer's market and uh, it just hasn't happened. It looked like they were about to explode. Uh, maybe they would have grown a little bit better if we got actual rain uh, this spring, which always seems to have a chance and then just fails. But um, yeah, I've been very disappointed um, with this tower. And those are some of the changes I think I'm gonna make for next year. Uh, one last mistake I made with these um, stackable planters from Dollar Tree is putting these, placing them too far away from where my water source is. So I have one there, one here. This is the my 400 square foot garden that I've been doing a lot of videos on. Um, so I have a sprinkler that comes this way, goes back and forth, but it doesn't really water these. Um, it definitely doesn't reach this one, um, not, not very much at all. So it's something that I've actually forgot to water this a couple of times because I put it all the way at the edge of my garden and even my some of my hoses barely reach this far so I should have thought about that before I put this here um, and I was actually planning on making 
uh, another tower on that T post there for more herbs. Um, I just didn't get to that yet, but um, that one would be able to get watered from uh, my sprinkler that I have set up here. But um, yeah, it's just another thing to think about. Make sure you put these in a place where it's really easy to water. And that's another reason I think it would be better to keep them at just three or four high because it's very easy to move them and easier to water them as well. So these are going to dry out very quickly. Um, and in some of these, I did just one tiny hole in the bottom so it would hold on the moisture a little bit more but still still they dry out way too easy and um you know i have some ever bearing strawberries here that some of them are still alive some of them died uh, because they didn't get enough water probably didn't get enough sun as well so a little disappointed with how these uh, stackable planters have gone but hey i'm sharing what i'm learning so you guys at home if you're trying this um I don't want you guys to make the same mistake. I want you guys to grow more food than I am. So learn from my mistakes and do better. And that's gonna wrap up this quick video on my epic fails with the Dollar Tree Stackable Planters. Uh, hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you did, feel free to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel if you're new here. I'd really appreciate that too. We're almost to 3000 subscribers, which is really crazy because I remember the struggle just to get to like 200 subscribers. So it's crazy that there's a lot more garden nerds out there besides me. So glad to have you here. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next time.